Last week, whenever I first arrived into London, bespoke tailors John Kent and Terry Hayes had prepared for me the first fitting of the two garments that they are making. Now, while I was in London, they were able to quickly turn around a second fitting so that we can get that in before I leave tomorrow. So join me as we step back inside Kent and Hayes for my second fitting with these two legendary tailors. John, Terry. Kirby, again, yeah. lovely to see yeah, you. Yeah, so boy. nice to see lovely you again. To, again, Kirby, lovely. You know, lovely to see Try, you again. Twice in one trip. Oh, that's I good. Mean, that's good. That's good. Great fortune. Actually, there's <laughs> been a few more times than that as I've dropped, dropped by as we've been kind of running up and down Sackville. Yeah. But uh, here we are, second fitting. I must say I'm really excited. The first yeah, one. Yeah, we are too. We're you know, kind of ran into a few little dietary challenges, but I've skipped breakfast <laughs> and dessert all week. Looks like we're going to take it in now. I haven't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I guess tell us a little bit about kind of what we have in store today because, you know, as we discussed in the first fitting video, um, you know, these fittings are an integral part of the bespoke process. It, the bespoke process can't be completed without a series no. of fittings. <clears throat> no, so as you know, last week we done the first fitting, which is this. <clears throat> Normally we would do a second fitting, which would be more like this, mm -hmm. with the linings in, the lapels on, so you get a better idea of it. But yeah. unfortunately, because you've been here such a short time, we yeah. haven't had the time. So yeah. we just literally done the first fitting again. We've yeah. done the alterations. Took it in a bit because you'd obviously lost weight. Yes, last time. yes, yes. Uh, all that exercising. <laughs> you know, no. In a funny sort of way, this is not a bad fitting to have, because when Terry and I started many moons ago, I me mean, even more many moons ago, we would do that. It's, we'd have a, a base fitting mm -hmm. and then an advanced base fitting, which is what that is, then go to that stage, as Terry's mm -hmm. pointed out, and possibly rip that down and have another. It was kind of a process that people accepted, mm -hmm. five fittings, yeah. six fittings. Unfortunately, I feel if you're going down that road, there must be something wrong with it in that respect. You know, three fittings is yeah. first class. Terry, would you agree with yeah, that? Yeah, we can have yeah. it. I'm not as good as John, so I need extra <laughs> fittings, of course. That's not true. I'm, st I'm starting to learn. I thought I was better than him. I'm not really sure, though, I'll be honest. <laughs> well, that's why two minds are greater than one, right? So that's why it's Kim Hayes here. and Lactor. <laughs> no, you can't teach him much. Unfortunately, that's what annoys me. Yeah, we don't say the same, but doing all the work back there. Oh, of course. Oh, we let her do it. We, got we just sit around right. drinking tea, look. <laughs> we're well, at least it's tea these it. days, yeah. which is uh, much different than I'm sure 20 or 30 years ago. No, Being down at the yeah. pub. No, because you're in a tailor shop, really. We're, we're all pretty, I wouldn't say we're totally teetotal, but we're as close to teetotal as you could get. Yeah. I mean, John virtually drinks nothing. Stephen virtually drinks nothing. Sue Ilmer obviously drinks far too much. And oh, I virtually yeah. drink Drunkard, nothing. Though, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so we're not you know, the we're standard quite tailoring tolerant, shop, is not really? we? We're, quite, we're not the norm, are we, Terry? No, because not at all. Because the tailoring trade was known for that quite heavy drinking drinks. thing, yeah. which is not a bad thing if you can handle it. We're not goody goodies. It's just never yeah. really gone down that yeah. route. To well, you guys, we? I mean, I think certainly have a reputation for exceptionally professional work. And Thank you. Yeah. Every single time Thank I've you. come in the shop, uh, you're always exceptionally busy. <laughs> if you're not, uh, you know, entertaining a client, right, which many of them have become close friends, <laughs> right, oh, then sure. um, you are at your boards doing your work. Yeah, it doesn't reflect that because these people like a drink. We're not goody goodies. I just don't think it, it, well, Terry and I and Steve go out. You know, we go for a meal and this kind of thing, and I'll have a drop of wine all day long with a mm. meal. I love it. But we're not actually, let's leave here at half past 12 and get back at 4 o'clock yeah. type of person. You yeah. Know. Way too busy for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not, that is just the not way you are, really, isn't it? Really, I understand. The the and it's not, as I say, a re reflection mm. on any of the others, because there's still some great tailors around this town that are that way inclined, but make a beautiful suit. It's just yeah. we don't, you know. Yeah. Well, great. So we've got the second fitting. And uh, again, you know, to be able to go through two fittings with you on one trip, <laughs> yeah, that's I brilliant. think is it's one of the great price. benefits of being here for, you know, a week or a little bit longer than a week is to allow mm. you time to do that. And yeah, so um, right. we thank you. It sounds corny, but we thank you because we do get that situation where we have one and we go, when you come, I can't have another one. Mm -hmm. Can you can you finish it and send them? We re, we go through it between us to make sure we're, I've not missed anything mm -hmm. or anything. And then we usually score, you know, we, we, we get pretty well 98%, yeah. there's yeah. no such thing as 100%. Mm -hmm. But to have another luxury, it's 
Yeah. Yeah. Better for us, well, really. You know, especially yeah. for your out-of-town clients. I mean, there is an investment of time. And yeah. I know that you traveled to New York. You just started traveling to Palm Beach. Is that right? We just had our first trip to Palm Beach, yeah. which was really good. Yeah. So One maybe you'll hopefully in Palm Beach. continue to go to Palm Beach. And so you are traveling to the United yeah. States. Mm. Yeah, we uh, love but, it. But you know, most people, of course, probably are seeing you here in London. Most people do, yeah. yeah. We've got quite a European trade, so yeah. those people, it's easier for them to just nip across for a fit in. Yeah. And you've got quite a local trade too. I was filming with yeah, yeah. Tom uh, Chamberlain today. We did a walking tour talking about the Trooping of the Color, mm -hmm. and he was wearing an absolutely brilliant double-breasted uh, gray, or was Excuse it navy pinstripe, navy, pinstripe. navy pinstripe. pinstripe suit? Navy pinstripe suit. Yeah. And beautiful. So I kind of felt... I felt a little bit in his shadow, you know. <laughs> we <Well, he's> always <laughs> in his shadow. Um, yeah. But no, that's first class and Prince of Wales can't go wrong. Fabulous, fabulous yeah. suit. It is really. Yeah, well, thank you. And I compliment um, you and you must think, yeah. oh, Well, I've got my Prince of Wales suit on true. with my new bespoke Gatiano and Girlings wow. with the Prince of Wales yeah, it's, it goes uh, patina. Great it, doesn't it? Yeah. And, um, <laughs> well, it's what we do and you're, you know, you kit it out put perfectly well, with every... The just goes to shoes. show you how good a qualified tailor can make one look. So, well, with that, should I go put the trousers on? Brilliant. Yeah. All right. Walk this way. Yeah, Thank on. you. Lead on. You know. <sighs> well, skipping those breakfasts seemed to have made a difference. Well, these, uh, you look good in good clothes, I've yeah. got to say. <laughs> let, me, let me just adjust them for you. Oh, they, they, they feel <laughs> a wee bit high. <laughs> <laughs> Trust him to do that on my trousers. <laughs> Not a horrible person. <laughs> so I feel comfortable. Yeah, that's good. I right. mean, I've got this, you know, right. ugly little mic address? pack on there, but I think it really showcases the beauty of braces because I can't even feel the weight. I mean, these trousers are really exceptionally comfortable. Thank They're just you. floating. I think I was a little bit over enthusiastic. <clears throat> I won't blame you. Well, this well, is well, this is what happens when you cut the trousers <laughs> to how you remember me looking. Versus the measures. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. I think I love you for it, but I think I cut them too. You will. We'll too chalk close. it up to my I charm. Come, I cut them a little bit too close. Let's not kid ourselves. What I'm going to do is I don't like these bouncing at the back. So what I'm actually doing, although it tends to feel as if I'm tightening them up, mm -hmm. I like them to go in. Okay. I don't like that clown-looking thing. Okay. So technically, it might tighten it up an eighth of an inch, but basically. I just don't like that bouncy look at the back, so bear with me on that. And then we get a, I'm not going to pin that in case I catch you. So what we do is just going to go gently through the seat, not a lot. It doesn't, in fact, it makes it more comfortable because I'm removing the cloth from the outside, which I obviously can't get into the trousers inside because you're inside them. So that's <laughs> going to be that's going to be cleared, which will get rid of that little teeny bit of surplus there, but without. Right, may I, may I ask you? Are you comfortable in the fork? You know, it might be slightly high with how uh, they are Not currently. so much that. I, I don't really want to get the pleats any better th any more than what I've got because they're hanging by way of a change perfect. So what, oh, I, what I'm go. trying to get at is, yeah. I think when I clear this... You're not going to take it in, are you? No, no. I'm just going to clear <laughs> that seat because that looks murky. Mm. I just wondered, would you like a tiddly bit right at the top? Just a... Or is it uncle? There's a lot of inlay at the moment, and that causes a problem. I think I'm going to go to the next. Step. I don't want to get baggy yeah. trousers. The pleats are spot on. There's no those inside the leg. They're hanging like two straight lines, which is what they should do. If you turn sideways, when I clear this little bit of surplus here, mm -hmm. to follow, I like to follow the figure rather than have this bouncing mm -hmm. out here. Once I do that, that'll ease that, and that's still staying put, you know, that military sort mm -hmm. of cut. I've got more width in it, but I don't really want to get them any bigger than that. So yeah. I'll go to the next stage, and I won't ask you any more. Pleats, I think, are spot on. We've got a real full pleat, which I love, because there's mm -hmm. pockets to go in, which yeah. will take up a bit. Let me have a look at the length. Yeah, you might want to brace, pop those in. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to give you a choice. Let me, I like to do this, so if I could just, right. Do you prefer the length of the left leg, i.e. like that, which I had noticed you have a nice break on the one you're wearing, or do you like the very slightly shorter leg of the right leg? There might not be much in it, but there is a weeny bit. Hmm. Not so much at the back, I don't think, it's the front. Can you see that that's got a break on it? So has the other, but if I show you the difference without hurting you, I'm going to pull this up. See how that's coming off the shoe yeah, and that's staying put? Probably this one. I think so, yeah. honestly. I do, honestly. So okay. I'm going to just don't, put we that, don't want, I'm going to plus that up. You prefer the long one, yeah? About yeah, three this is the longer one, right? Yeah, about three-eighths yeah. of an inch. Yeah. 
that one is much better on this whole leg. It's holding the crease right over. This one is floating. Once that comes down, that will swing over and those, those uh, trouser pleats will stay put. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you a bit more style without going on too long. Um, see this here? I don't like that. I like it to come from there, I like it to go hollow and then come up. I mean, although it's sitting pretty neat mm -hmm. and I'm leaving that bit of fullness because there's pockets to go in, I just want to, that'll hit you and it'll be uncomfortable. <coughs> if, I, if I just suppress that a little bit, that'll come down and it won't feel as if it's going to catch you. But that's what I, what I have to do, so that's fine. Let's see what we can do on that. All right, let's pop you there. Mm -hmm. Good, let's see what we've got. Okay. Yeah, this should be interesting because the first fitting I had with barrel cuffs, this is with French cuffs. Yes, and well, so that's we, fine I know that you guys fiddled may, around a little bit with the. We yeah, may want to widen. Wide we may want to widen the cuff, so I that's a good thing. Well, no, I mean the majority of the time it'll be worn with barrel cuffs, and I prefer a nice kind of tied French. I don't Do know you? if I change no, it. I'll, I'll check that out. Did you widen them last time? No, you didn't. No. Oh, I don't no. think I did. Was it you, Terry? That was I did on the tweed one. I can't remember to them, but I don't think that. Whoops. I don't think I do. It's amazing to me you can do this without the garment ripping apart. Um, well, <laughs> I, I, I can do all that, but quite frankly, it's not, it's not really necessary unless, you're, unless it doesn't fit and you're panicking and you think, I better rip a sleeve out to make them <laughs> see as if I know what I'm doing sort of thing. Right, let's have you like so. That's great. Okay. That's more like it. Here we go. Okay. Right, absolutely natural stance, which you're doing. I'm going to come back. I, I don't really fit to shirts, although the shirt you've got on is great. I'll have a look at that. It's still a bit close, isn't it? Mm. It's all that porridge he's been eating this week. Yeah, I just don't really <laughs> get it. <laughs> Tell us he didn't have any breakfast, didn't he? I'm well, still going there a bit more, it's you know. It's very hollow for you now. So. Yeah, I did it and then I displaced the seam and I don't think it worked. Let's just work, yeah. get that there for a minute. I'm going to let that go in. And then give a little bit more there, I think. Mm. Right, let's just have a look at you straight on. Right, I like to fit, it's too big here, don't worry about that. That's why it feels maybe a little bit big. I like it that way, I'd like to cut that off the front edge, not put it on. And then I'm going to shoot the cuff. And then it's usually the same principle as, as the trouser leg. If you look at the round of the hand, which is where I normally fit, mm -hmm. can you see this one is shorter? Yes. That <clears throat> sometimes reflects, you know, because the trousers go that way. I like lots of cuff showing. Um, but having said that, let's pull your shirt. I would think we'd ought to put a bit on that one, because I, or indeed, one minute. I mean, this is shorter by a bare quarter of an inch. Did, do you feel that's correct? And th this is too short in my opinion. Yeah. But do you feel that one okay? Or would you like that a little longer? Pop your shirt, because then I can put a quarter on this one and a tad more on the other. Yeah, I mean, I would say maybe put a quarter on this one, a tad more on that. Yeah, exactly. I but think then, you're right. We you can know, always shorten it anyway, yeah. but it's better to be, I'm going to put a quarter on that one. Because the next fitting, it still won't yeah, have Yeah, because holes, we don't right, have buttonholes so in. We still can needs, tinker around with that. It needs a half, needs a half on that Once one. the sleeves go in, the pitch will get altered. And yeah, yeah exactly. The sleeve left. So that's good. Right. Because I probably would prefer to, you know, really validate the sleeve length with barrel cuffs. It's, that's not long. Yeah. In that's yeah. still not long in the back toe, is it? No, I just think it's just... I mean, that I love to do on no vents <laughs> anyway. I do that on everything. But how do you... How do you do, I mean, is there anything you do differently with no vents? It's quite a lot, actually. I don't do that very often, but I'm going to do that. What are you going to do? I think there's a case of picking up off the back shoulder. I normally don't do that very often. But on that side, I mean, that side's spot on. Okay. Timey draws that in. But I was going to, I've already, I was keeping you it close. you more on that I don't know. I, I notice Kirby's Skin what he tight, wears. It seems quite close through there. Does that feel uncomfortable through there? You know, it doesn't feel uncomfortable, but I defer to the experts. It's <laughs> a um, cop out. <laughs> see, I think that's, that's a case of that, which I don't yeah. do very often. Of course, it's only tacked up anyway. A wedge anyway. on the right side, you mean? Yeah, exactly. Because, mm. Um, mm. and... Yeah. But what I'm getting at is, you can feel that, obviously. Yeah, it's a little tight. Would you yeah. take a bit out of that and you know, let a bit out of that? No, or just leave that and let the yeah, other side out? It'd be skin tight, wouldn't it, if you did? Well... Be careful. If I pivot that, 
That'll take so, care of that. I'll get Jules to draw you'll that You'll have in. to take a bit out of that side, won't you? But would you say you'd touch that one? No. No, neither would I. Not unless you do it right, well, you're thinking right at the very top. Just to there, well, nothing. I was, just a little round on it. Is that what you mean? I'm just like you, scared that there's a bit there. This one definitely a tad, I think, because it's a drop, and mm. then I'll pivot mm. and take a tiddly weeny bit like the pitch there. Just I'll have a look mm. at that anyway. Um, I might do that so as well. Instead of taking much out there, I'll pivot that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And come through an eighth on that side, and then mm. that one on. You know, cut it in two sections. Um, it's just. A little bit more through here? Yeah, I think, think so, definitely. I love that shape, but I don't think it, I don't think it's practical, do you? Huh. So what we do is from there, I'll give that a full quarter, and then... What, even on the waist? What, 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 what are you saying, over the hips? I was just thinking hips? over the hips, really, where it's just catching. Okay, question mark. I don't know. Oh question mark that. Well, it's up to you. Um, well, no, I'm just saying to get a run, I just don't want to get a bump on this. No vent. You know, with vents, you can just let it go. But with a no vent, I don't want to get that sort no. of too skirted no, look. I think I enough. might go an eighth and then go over the hips. This mm. is the bit that we work on. Collar's good. Mm -hmm. That side will be great once it's done. I'm going to come in here a bit more and then let it out on the beam a bit. That's good. The length's better. Went down half an inch. What lapel My, width are you working to? I'm going to go a bit heavy on this, I think. Three and a half. Oh, yeah? Wow. Well, that's, that's not heavy, you. but <laughs> what I mean is it'll be that width. Um, I would like to, I don't really want to get, you, do you want a sort of really heavy lapel? Mm. Something balanced, I mean. I think three and a half, maybe three and five. I want to keep it a bit, I don't really want one of those skinny ones. Let me just. No, definitely it. not skinny. <laughs> Whatever you do. Let's give it an eighth. But I also don't want something that's like three quarters of the way. <laughs> no, eighth of an inch there. That one's okay. Okay. Good. Let me just do one thing. Won't move, will it? All in the price, so that was. <laughs> extra for the drama. <laughs> yeah. No, that's fine. I'm leaving that a bit swingy. I, I, I cut them too straight, so. I think that's fine through there. Shoulder width, widen them, widen them a bit? I think so. Yeah, I don't, I've gone by what you're wearing, which is first class, but I think. I would prefer, I mean, a little bit past the midpoint, right? Yeah. A touch, a yeah. touch on wide, but not. Yeah. Not, not dead you, no, yeah. exactly. Mm. I mean, not exaggerated, but if you're gonna, you know, skew one side, I'd no, prefer I'm to going, skew I, slightly I wide. Definitely, slightly wide yeah. I definitely feel that that's, Got a little bit of a puny look about it. I'm going to get so, to. I think they could go out to another quarter. Because to be honest, do you? Well, I was just sort of thinking if we went right out to there. You know, He's mucking about again. <laughs> honestly, yeah, I'm going to hit him in a minute. Give him that nice wide shot. <laughs> I'm going to hit him in a minute. Get that out of there, naughty boy. Quarter of an inch. Yeah, no more than that. A neck quarter, that looked great. Just give you that look. We're talking about the shoulder or the lapel? Yeah, no, the shoulder. width of the shoulder, just to lapel. take it out a quarter. John and then the lapel would be like about that. three and a yeah. half. No. I don't want to get that. Yes, yeah. I want to get that. Much. Okay, no, no, no. Where's the shoulder line? Can it's it going to finish there. It's going to finish on that mark. If you look at this one, that's, see, that's, that's going to be cut off. It'll have that feel about it, just mm. a little bit more off. Yeah. It'll look better. <laughs> So and then three and like a half that. lapel, yeah, not, not, probably what you've got near enough, finish like that. Or do you want to go just a tiddly bit more? No, I think Kirby was looking, it's maybe a bit too wide. This going to no, be No, that's there. probably too wide. Yeah, three and a half, I know, honestly. Yeah. Okay. Happy spot on. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is we're going to widen this, yeah? So that's the width of the lapel on that left side, not that one. That's the, that's the width of the lapel that I'm aiming for. That's three and a half inches, which is perfect, honestly. Three and a quarter, it's, it's too slim. Three and three quarters, three and five eighths. You haven't got the frame, you know, the shoulder mm -hmm. width to carry a, a really heavy lapel. Yeah. But that's, that's quite substantial, three and a half. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, three yeah. and a half is quite. Yeah. Let's just have you around. Fair size for you. No, that's perfect balance. Those two mark stitches are together. I've just got to work on that side there. That one I'm going to leave, but I'm, I might give you a bit more through there. 
Yeah, that'll do to go to the next stage. Definitely a quarter, definitely a half. They're a bit short. Good. Brilliant. Thank you, well, sir. Let me take that off. It's coming together for sure. Looks nice, doesn't yeah. it? Now, as you take that off, let me just, Siri, as you take that off, do you think that cuff should be a little wider? I widen mine. But yeah, I'm going to widen this. Why don't you wait and see what mine look like? You yeah, might, I'll take the Mine might be too I'm wide. Gonna, I'll make a note, though. I think an eighth of an inch, which yeah. is quarter over and all, wouldn't make it too wide because it's not that narrow. I used that's to what, do half ten of what I done. Yeah, so uh, yeah. yeah, I think, to be honest, ten mm. and a half I used to work to on lots and they're miles too yeah. small now. So that's grand. I'm going to just make one more mark here. Your, sorry, I just measure here. That'll give you a rough idea, wouldn't it? What you yeah, got there? ten. What have I got? Well, but this is also French. Was it eleven? See, that's nearly eleven. I'm going to yeah. make it eleven and a quarter. I think. Mm. I don't want eleven and a half too mm, wide. It's no. too wide, isn't it? Yeah. That's grand. Well, lengthen that leg. Pleats are hanging perfect oh, by the way of a chain. Are, the trousers are spot on. These are perfect. Got a little bit of. Oh, sorry, a bit of muck there. Suppress that a bit there. Tiddly with a little tiddly bit up there to give you a bit of comfort, but mm. not much. Lengthen one leg. We're going on the right track, and the creases are right over your knees, so that's cool. And I like the double pleats. Yeah, they're plenty. They're big pleats, but mm. the Duke wore that. Yeah. They're not skimpy pleats. So yeah. Most people don't like that, but that's a proper plate, yeah. basically. Doing your best. First work. class. Thank you, Kirby. All Lovely. Right. Fantastic. Yep. Shall we try the second pair on? Yep. Yeah. Right. Then you go. There we there. are, sir. With pleasure. While you're changing, let me do Alexander. Get that away. Mm. Well, I mean, these are some soft flannels. So they feel nice. Does this have cashmere in it, or is it just that no. side of the wool? No, pure flannel. <laughs> pure wool, lamb's wool. So, after the first fitting last week, I said I would raise the bands quite a lot at the front, mm -hmm. but that was a bit drastic, so they raised a little bit, but not okay. as much as before. So they're sitting quite nicely on your waist, and we... Uh, took in the way. Yeah, that's right, we took yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so Are they going to be braces or straight top? Well, I think we changed it to straight top at the fitting last time, okay. just to, just to more of a difference for your suit trousers, okay. but whereas you can still wear them with the braces. And there's more room in the forks here and slightly narrower bottoms and then shorter, so you've got far less of a break. How does that feel in the waist now? Yeah, yeah, so, uh, you know, They've got a little bit less room in them than John's, right? But these are not as high-waisted and are cut to be worn without braces if I would want to. Right? So they're comfortable yeah. for both of those. And you're happy with the length of them and the amount of break? I think so. What yeah. do you think? Yeah, it's personal preference. I mean, I like my ankle swingers and Terry <laughs> likes heavy break. So really, <laughs> well, I don't it's think always I can get away customer. with that. But, no, uh, no. <laughs> but yeah, it's always personal I think preference. Really smart. Brilliant. Yeah. And again, the different leg lengths. Do you want to? Yeah, is that intentional? You guys always do one different than the other? Oh, yeah, yeah. Of course. It's, it's handmade, sir. It's yeah, it's just handmade. us. It's totally us. You know, I probably would go with, what do you think, this one? Yeah. That's a really full break. Yeah, you... I don't know. What do you, what do you think? Well, it's, it's very, very preference. personal. I think the right one's a nicer one, isn't it? This one? Yeah. yeah. So this one's good. Take a bit off that one. The only difference is the opposite to John, isn't it? We've got it the other way around. Which part? John had it this yes. way. Yes. We've got it the other well, way around. That's it's, it's to keep the client honest. Exactly. <laughs> just see if you're watching. Yeah. And there's see, enough yeah. space here, but it just looks like it's catching you a bit in the seat. What are you going to do? Just pull that. Pull yeah, it in just so clear that, that. Come back. Yeah, and then that will fall a bit nicer there. Is it catching you too under this? A little bit. The fault is catching you a little bit, is it? We'll cut some of that inlay away. Don't, yeah, don't pin it. You've just, yeah, literally three eighths on the double. I think you're right. <clears throat> and the height of these, do they feel more comfortable now? Yes. We made them a bit higher, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. No, definitely. They look nice. The pleats are holding nicely. Mm -hmm. We might, yeah. I think you're right. We'll just take that little bit up through there. Yeah. But um, so if I just, right. yeah, spin you around. Oh, pardon me. Remember, you got pockets to go in yet. So once the pockets yeah. go in, that would take up a little bit of this space. Yeah, yeah because there are additional trimmings that'll go in these. Oh yes, yeah, quite a lot. But you guys yeah. are accounting for that. Of course. Yeah, kind of, I mean, That's why we're leaving that little bit of yeah. room through here. I just clear that up a little bit 
And then you've got room for pocket bags and mm -hmm. curtains and things. I like the double pleats, I have to say. They suit you, Will. Yeah. I, I like them. Looks good. This is a beautiful brown. It's lovely, isn't it? What would you call it? I mean, it's a dark brown? Would you call it a dark brown? I think it's like a brownie grey. I wouldn't really call it a definite brown. I mean, I've shown yeah. a couple of other people yeah, who asked about light. it. And someone said, oh, it looks grey in some no, lights, it looks it brown in other lights. Mm -hmm. I think they call it, don't they call it Marley Barrel? Marl. Marl, grey Marl. Grey Marl, don't they? So it's, it's, yeah. it's a good colour. Right. Now for the beautiful house tweed. The house tweed. The house tweed. <laughs> We took it in last time, didn't we? Oh yes, yeah, miles, miles. I've got your favourite piece of chalk as well for you, oh, Terry. Hey, oh, yes. thank you. I'll just use this. <laughs> yeah. Times are tough. We can't afford it. Keep prices down. I think. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Anything we can do. <laughs> Pay for the tailoring, not the chalk. <laughs> okay. So what we. Get, it, believe it or not, we were a bit big on the front edge last time, really? so I've actually Hard taken some of that away. <laughs> yeah. Hard I'm, to believe. I'm actually going to lower this button as well. I don't really care what you say, but I, I want to lower it just for my sake. Oh, there we go. There you go. It's all, it's all bespoke, sir, of course. <laughs> yeah. Just as you want. Exactly as you want. Mm. The customer's always right until you walk past that line. <laughs> so it's like a totally... What do you think of the arms hole? I mean, it, does that feel a bit snug? Well, yeah, it feels like I'm kind of. You know, I like mine like. a bit snug. But okay. Well, I'll come, we'll come back to that. I don't know. I think we should leave it, don't you? I think we should make it tighter, <laughs> actually, tighter. if possible, yeah. and maybe a little bit of hair cloth in there just mm -hmm. for good measure. So I just give you a little bit more room there, just to allow that to come touch. out. Yeah. I just would hate to. I you know. tend to cut quite a small chest. We'll give you a little bit more through the chest, just so it's not catchy. If I just let it out through there, that yeah. would just take it. Is it the pressure just getting you there? Yeah, well, it's just, it's like right, you know. Right there, yeah, there. exactly, yeah. It's just to remind you of me, really. <laughs> That's right. It's like a nice, soft hug. Yeah, exactly. Okay, we're going to lift that collar up a bit. It's just a, it's called a bit round, so I'm going to just pop that up a little, just bring it a bit higher. Oh, you've got pins here. Yeah, just bring it up to there. I'm actually going to just pick up this shoulder end on this right side. The left side to me is perfect. So once that's bridled in through there, that will hold up and that'll be really nice. Does that feel a little snug there though? A bit. It feels it's catching yeah. you a little bit there, is it? I mean, I, it definitely feels slightly restricted. It's just because last week you probably spent in the gym, haven't you, weightlifting? That's what it is. It's all that work carrying these cameras. <laughs> yeah. So we let that go through there. The back seam through there is quite nice. That's really yeah. hugging, beautiful through there. The shaping's really good through there. I'm going to pick this one side up just to clean that side up and again give you a little bit more just through the lats there. Mm -hmm. Shoulder width. Yeah, I think I need to go a bit wider on that. What do you think? Um, me. <laughs> is it my time for fame? Yes, this is your... <laughs> Intoxicated as I am with the eloquence of my own verbosity, I think this is a fine establishment. No credit to him. Yeah. <laughs> they've, they've been known to put out a nice, nice thing or two. Um, that's lovely. Beautiful material. Well, welcome back, John. Beautiful back. You could walk backwards with that, if you want. <laughs> that is nice. There yeah, we you go. could walk backwards. It's that good. We both got the same a bit, haven't we, Terry? I'm yeah, we both got the same on that right side. So I'm just going to do Switch. really the same as what you're going to do. Yeah, just swing it Swing that yeah. one side up. Got a nice hollow yeah, through there. I, think. So I, I want think to do a bit more there. of that on mine. I think shaping through there is just about First spot collar. on. I've raised the collar as well. I'm a little yeah, bit low on the makes collar. Makes sense. Um, now the tweed is a much heavier cloth than the bird's eye. Yeah, it's three yeah. ounces heavier. Let's have a look at the front. That's yeah. lovely. It's got the same as me. I don't think we want that look, do we? No. No. No, I am going a little bit bigger on the chest. Are though. you, Ted? Yeah, because Kirby's feeling it a little bit tight under the arm, but it's not tight under the arm. What, let it come out it's rather than keep digging out. it out? I'm, I'm yeah. inclined to agree with you. 
So we're just going to do that. And That's, no, no, no. When it gets tight, don't make it bigger. Make pick it up. come out that way. Just pick up the little, on the right side. Just I'm a doing little that bit as more well. On the end. I'm doing that as well. It's either that or we nip out the Fortnums and get a tea cozy and put that in there <laughs> to hold it up. Stupid boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got a, a pretty exaggerated drop right. You have, yeah. actually. I mean, yeah. how do you guys a account for that to you know, still kind of maintain symmetry? And We just look at the left side. We don't bother with looking at the right side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. now, that's the problem. You either do it with pads mm -hmm. or you just accept it slightly lower. Some people would put just a slightly bigger pad on the right side okay. than on the left. But you've got to be careful because putting too much padding in, it just feels so uncomfortable. Yeah. So we've got like this side would probably have just a one ply pad and this side would just have a two ply pad, okay. which is virtually nothing, but that will give you a mm -hmm. bit more symmetry. Great, but great and show. Will you yeah. cut the links different Lovely. to help moderate that? Just slightly, yeah. Somewhere. Just slightly. So if this was 14, this one would be 13 and seven, three quarters. Okay. So, so they just appear to look mm -hmm. the same. Okay. Because when your shoulders are different angles. Will they be exactly things. equal? Like, I mean, if you were to take a level across it, someone with the drop right like I do. No, you probably, if you were to do that and put a level across it, this one would probably be slightly, be slightly lower, lower. Slightly lower, yeah. yeah. Um, lapel width, I think three and a half is what you were talking about with John, which is what we've cut you there. But how does that feel? Does that feel too wide? Or I think it looks good. I think, you're happy I mean, with that? Should I just yeah, tilt that up a little bit? I think three and a half I can see it. a good width. I mean, I think if you tuck the, um, the canvas, the color canvas, I like that. Yeah, I mean, obviously that's going to come lower. Yeah. It won't be so high if we're slightly lower here. Then. I'm going to give you a bit more room across there as well. We're just a bit narrow across there. I'm just mm -hmm. going to widen that. I think I'm going to do there. the same, Terry. Well, just give it a bit more across the front. I think my left side looks great, but I don't think it's practical. I'm going to yeah. give it a little bit more. Yeah, you can fix just catching there, isn't it? We're trying to get something like, you know, without being sounding corny, get something that's really spectacular and mm -hmm. that usually ends up with it being too close. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You're mm -hmm. trying to take every little wrinkle away and every yeah. little little hinge and I think it's got to work. But well, you've got to be able to live in the garment that's what I'm the saying. entire year, yeah, like, we're including not, Christmas. We don't care how you feel. We just care how it looks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> we, we, that's the challenge with the cameras. Is yeah. I, you know, I walk out, it's like a vacuum seal. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to follow you around. If we yeah. see you going in any sweet shops or sandwich yeah. bars, we, we're going to we say... We smack your hand. <laughs> smack your hand. You can't have those. Why is it my suit was delivered to the scale? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It, it comes to something when we say stop breathing. You're breathing too heavy, you know, this kind of thing. <laughs> the sleeve lengths, I like very short sleeves. So I for, would say that this is For me, they're perfect, side. but, it's, but yeah. well, that one's obviously too short. But how do you feel inch. on the left? Half an inch on it. Yeah. Too much? <laughs> we'll see. We'll probably yeah. end up shortening it. He's only showing off because he's got a good watch. That's why he likes to show off. I haven't got a watch. Well, I should have <laughs> won the girls. I'm just a poor tailor struggling <laughs> to make a living. Yes. With that Rolex Speedmaster. <laughs> <laughs> I like the length, oh, Terry. And thanks for I lending me your watch so I can wear today. <laughs> I might <laughs> query that with you when, we, when we're finished. Just measure the length of your jacket. I know mine's got no vents, but I think that's a nice length. I think mine might need a tad on, I'm not sure. Do you know, I think it was the same length. I think it's just because of the no vents, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, that's what it is. I think that's, yeah, that's a good length. How do you feel with that length? Yeah, I think it's nice. Covers the seat. It's not too long, right? No, I don't think no, so. No, it's not too long. Definitely not. So we were talking about this this morning, actually, mm -hmm. weren't we? We were just saying how difficult it's now become with jacket lengths. Why is that? 20 years ago, you'd have worn a jacket slightly longer. Mm -hmm. Nobody would have questioned anything. They would have just yeah. put it on with right. the same length. Nowadays, some people want to wear them very incredibly short. Some people, <laughs> it's... Well. And you know, if you're going to err on any side, don't err on the short side. No. Right? And you usually you find the ridiculous. guys that should oh, wear long yeah, jackets right. are wearing really yeah. short, aren't they? They look ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. I mean, the rule of thumb is you, yeah. you know, that you hear on the internet is, you know, you kind of curl your fingers and it should sit in the crook of yeah. your fingers. And by that <laughs> measure, this would be a little bit on the short side. Exactly. The trouble is people have got longer arms than I've got very short arms. So yeah. I'd have to short my jacket <laughs> yeah. to do that. If you've yeah. got longer arms, you'd have to have to lengthen length to do that. And so, so it really comes down to visual balance, right? Exactly. At the end of the day, it's how it looks. It's a bit like the button when mm -hmm. I said I'm just going to lower it a little bit because visually to me, this just looked too much of a gap between that to the yeah. bottom. And We're going to do this as a one button or two? Yeah, we, yeah. Yeah, we can't afford so two buttons. That's even more important. Yeah. 
And yeah. that's where I think you know the skill of the tailor's eye really comes yeah. into play is to be able to see that aesthetic balance, that visual that's balance. What, that's what it's all about. As we talked before, cutting the patterns, <coughs> measurements are one thing, how it looks on Seeing you. Seeing it on is a whole nother. Two people, as John says, loads mm -hmm. of times, two people putting the same garment, you know, having yeah. exactly the same measurements, totally different yeah. figures. It's funny, I was speaking with Tony and Dean at Gatione on Girling about yeah. the same thing, that you can see a bespoke shoe and it can look beautifully or it could look beautiful, you know, on the shoe tree or the last. Yeah. And then you put the client's foot in it and it contorts. Yeah. And massively can look outshade. totally different. So it's mm. not until the shoe is on that you can really judge the fit. Yeah, exactly. Um, and same here is, I mean, you've got to see it on. Which is why we're doing, you know, we've two That's fittings into this fit. so far. It's been quite good as well. Because if you remember last time, that was quite closed in, wasn't mm -hmm. it? So we've opened that up it's a definitely bit definitely nicer well. opened, yeah. It looks much nicer when it's mm -hmm. open. Same but what do you think? You approve? I approve of the apprentice's work, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, boss. Thank you so much. Can I have a rise, please? No, stop it. Yeah, we know stop it. You it. Want None of that talk. We don't say the R word in here. <laughs> yeah. I mean these are two spot on beautiful. Different garments. styles. Yes. Hopefully you'll like both. Well, that's what's I think you guys it, are pushing it, me a little out, you know? I think it's nice. <laughs> a little You're bit gonna, different. You know, it's like yeah. square of shoulders. I'm so trying to look less like an to. undertaker these days. Oh, well, you don't <laughs> It's far from that. But you've still got your job as the undertaker. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> we can, we can. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Undertaker of style and humor. To be honest, well. they've got to be good because your tailor that you have is a very good tailor. I keep saying that. So well, I've got, been with him a long time. And we've got to really, really get keep on our toes to make sure it's as good. So. I think you guys are uh, certainly... We'll get there in the end, I think. Certainly going to get there in the end. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this, I mean, uh, the fabrics we chose, right, again, seeing it on the bolt sometimes a little bit, yeah, it's, on the swatch. It's difficult, uh, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to visualize, but now that these are made up, I mean, this dark brown is gorgeous. The house tweed, I love as much, you know, on me as I did uh, seeing Tom wear it. Uh, and then the bird's eye with the no well, vents. Well, it's... it's, it's yeah. A very traditional mm. suit, but that's what we wanted to do. We yeah. can cut anything yeah. from fashion to whatever you like. But I felt coming here, as it's a Duke's tailor, yeah. um, let's get you something just for fun, yeah. you know, and then do our house style, which Terry's doing as yeah. well. Well, it's fun. I mean, once you're, you know, kind of into the journey to add some variation to your design, you can't just have the same thing made. And that's what's fun, you know, working with guys like you two is to kind of have a little bit of fun playing things around, playing around with things. Yeah, just play around with and, it. Um, it's you know, slightly different. There's very little difference between mine and John's, but... Yeah, I and it's a big difference between, totally different. you know, what you cut for me, John, and say something you're cutting for Nick Fowkes. <laughs> <You know, laughs> neon, yellow, you know, tweed checks. I've always said it should be fun. <laughs> it's, it's not a dialysis machine. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It's very important, but it's, you know, a bit of fun while you... But we're going to... Weave an orange check in this. Though, <laughs> that, that comes with delivery. Yeah, well, on well, one, you want to look like Nick, on one you? side, Terry, <laughs> just on one side. Yeah. Well, hoops on the other yeah. side. Yeah. 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 Well, again, I think it's a testament to just the longevity of tailoring as well. I mean, the piece that you cut for me is very similar to what you would have cut for the Duke, right? That's why we chose yep. it. But I thought it looked as relevant and as beautiful. It's got a lot of work to go on it, so I hope you'll see the end product. I mean, it's just, it's a good fitting, but... Well, I'm pretty happy right now, so I guess well, we're on the right track. hopefully when it's finished, you'll be yeah. over the moon, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what's okay. next then? You take these back and... Right, I'm going to take it off and just check on the sleeve width, because we were talking about this, you, John and I. Yeah. Um, I just want to check so we can both should chat I, about you afterwards. Should I hold that while you measure yeah, the tape? Yeah, you go. Yeah. How did it come off? Okay. Yeah, that's better than mine. mine. I think that's perfect. I bet that's eleven. That's eleven and an eight. What you got? Was it eleven and 11, a quarter? Yeah. I'm eleven. I need a quarter an inch more, which is what I marked. Yeah. I think eleven and a quarter is spot on. <coughs> yeah, definitely. And we just, uh, I think, the boss said she's just gonna. Yeah. Well, I'm doing the same. Yeah. I think we could do that. And a possibly These are just straight clear top it. back tabs. Yeah. yeah. Just a bit of but I think well, what you can do is when you. When you clear that seat out, the the seat the circumference the seat angle becomes longer. Mm. So then you can afford just to take a little teeny bit off there. Otherwise, you Ooh. might end up with a gutter, but not much. Not sure about that. You're not talking sure? about that. <laughs> oh, I thought you, I thought that would rise up because the seat angle gets longer. But if you feel that's correct, then your trousers mm. that way, and mine braces anyway. We'll discuss that. What do you? We'll discuss that. 
No, I'm, it's personal. <laughs> I just, I've, I've got a hollow waist and I get this a lot. Yep. There's nothing like a mic pack to fix that problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the pack is not a mic pack. That <laughs> might help, yeah. This is pacemaker. That's his pacemaker, yeah. <laughs> Well, we can sort that out. We've got yeah. him on a battery. I wasn't talking about an inch, I was talking yeah. about an eight. Yeah. We turn that off, he just falls asleep like that. <laughs> I like to measure the circumference and then see if it's the same as and see if there's any, if it goes higher, that's all. Yeah. 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 Well, brilliant. Anything Thank else? Lovely. Lovely. Brilliant. So what's next? So make, I guess, you, will you take these adjustments back to the pattern the same yep. way that you did after Definitely. the first fitting? Exactly the same okay. way, yeah. Yep. And then um, what do you think the next time I see you, what stage? It's going to be like this. So okay. the trousers will have the pockets in. I'm going to just sit All the linings so will okay. be in. Yeah. Legs can't uh, be killing me. You'll get a much better well, view of what that it's going to be look, 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 yeah. finish looking like. Okay. And you'll probably feel more comfortable. Once the lining yeah. goes in, it won't stick so much under your arms. Yeah. Excellent. We'll just feel a lot more comfortable yeah. in it. Okay. Well, gentlemen. Thank you. Thanks for coming Sorry over. Probably. Thank you. Hey, forgive me sitting down. The knees are a bit no, of course. Thank you very much yeah. indeed. We're, Thoroughly enjoyed it. Thanks for all your help. Well, the pleasure is for mine, and I feel spoiled, well, you know, with the, with all three of you here. This is well, uh, between this the has three of us. Treat. Between the three of us, we can really muck it up. Don't worry. <laughs> and on top of that, coming in our tea break as well. Yeah, yeah. another yeah. tea yeah. break or cakes. Tea. Come on. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we can talk about me now. I'm going to go Lovely. take these off. Thank you. Time for a drink, then, oh, lads. On the old legs, have gone again. Alexander Take ordered two Get more pair. Of Thank you. <laughs> he ordered two more pair of flannel trousers. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> wow! What an absolutely lovely fitting. I mean, this is everything that I love about the bespoke process. Not only do you get to see the garment come together in the most amazing way, to experience work at the absolute highest level by master craftspeople, but to just enjoy the company of people like John and Terry might be my favorite part of it all. So I'm looking forward to the next fitting whenever I'm back in London and to that day whenever I can actually wear a garment by John Kent and Terry Haste. To all those watching for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you haven't visited KirbyAllison.com, please take a moment to do so. You'll find the largest collection of luxury garment care and luxury shoe care accessories in the world, as well as other great clothing accessories, like this beautiful sovereign grade necktie I'm wearing today, braces, socks, pockets, squares, and so much more. Of course, this is one of the best ways to support the work that we do here on this YouTube channel. And do, for those that would like to support our ability to travel, to visit other people, we have a Patreon. 100% of the proceeds of our Patreon will be used to support our travel budget to explore the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Of course, I'm Kirby Allison, and I love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes while exploring the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Today from London, thank you for watching.